We will rise against even though we don't know where we should begin Even though we can't see around the bend Oh, we know, we know that we will rise again Hey guys, Wally here. Well, what more can I say? Code Lyoko. This little French animated TV show began its run in 2003 and sadly ended in 2007 with five seasons. This series also used two different ways to show both the real world and the Lyoko world by using their real world as traditional animated and the Lyoko world was CGI. Ah, nice touch. We follow the story of four boarding school students named Ard, Yumi, Uruk and Jeremy, enrolled in the fictional school Kadic Academy. Together they try and stop the plans of an artificial intelligent life form known as Xana, as it plans to take over the world. Of course! While trying to save the world, they are also trying to save a girl named Ailita, who is trapped in the virtual world of Lyoko, so it's up to them to bring her to the human world. And then it's later revealed that Ailita was born in the real world, and as she begins to remember her past, and then... it gets weird from there. I won't spoil any more than I have, because in my opinion, it's a very much underrated show, and I rarely hear people talk about it now, and most of my friends never know what I'm talking about, and they look at me like... You don't know, Willis. <laughs> I do know this series was very popular because there's a new series coming out with live action actors called Code Lyoko Evolution. And you know what? It isn't that bad. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention about the little romance in the series, with Uruk trying to date Yumi, but fails at the attempt or someone gets in the way. Then there's Jeremy and Ailita, and all I'm saying is... Don't lose that kid. And finally, Odd! Um... Oh! Um... Does he have someone? Does he have someone? I mean, does he... Does he have I don't remember anything in the series. Can I throw these in? Can I? Can I? There are also other reoccurring characters in the series, like some of the students of the school, the principal, or headmaster of the school, and Jimbo, or Jim, or... Bob. The ex-military soldier who becomes a gym teacher, and rather not like to talk about his past. And finally, there's another enemy they face. A rather bossy girl named Sissy. Oh boy, Sissy. Uh, not only does the name suit the character, but she is quite possibly the most Selfish, self-absorbed, self-centered, manipulative, arrogant, and did I mention, did I mention that she is a complete and total bitch? What? Let's see whether she'll answer a few questions. Well, Sissy, how about a few words for our TV audience before the big night? Sorry, Munchkins. I only talk to real pro reporters. Let me guess. You still don't believe me. Well... <laughs> how about, um... I show you just a few clips from the show. I have no time to waste on a couple of nerds. Hey, I hope you two aren't gonna follow me around all day long. As far as I know, you're not beauticians. So stop sticking to me like glue. I don't need you, understand? So scat. Oh, Millie, little dipsticks your age don't have any freedom, understand? Anyway, who needs your dumb reporting? What do you know? So get ready! Ah, gotta run now. It's my moment of triumph. Uh, uh Sissy, we, we thought... Yeah. Take this advice. Don't think. It doesn't suit you. Quiet! Quiet! Shut up, all of you! You bunch of idiots! Can you see what he's trying to do? It's a trick I 
tell you, a trick to keep me from winning again this year! It's Christ. obvious my friends oh, and I aren't very welcome, but my father did wrong. say that the band was open to everybody, ah. right? Oh, but don't worry. I don't want to be in a group of deadbeat weirdos. Come on, Jeremy. Tell me. Send us the name of a rock group. We call the champions. There's no way we could possibly call them. What do you think I am, an idiot or something? Uh, you said it, not me. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, I ache all over, I swear. I'm telling you, I'd have never thought it was possible to be this sore. It even hurts to blink. Happy? So anyway, this show is very entertaining with good writing, good voice acting, good comedy, and it can be very shocking and suspenseful at times. My only problem with the show is that they do sometimes reuse some of the animation on both animated and CGI shots. But apart from that, it's a very good kids show, and I'd recommend it to anyone who enjoys good animation, CGI, writing, having your heartstrings pulled non-stop. Anyway, I'm known as The Wallet, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!